Welcome to quarantine life. We're clearly wearing whatever we picked off the floor. So listen, I know a lot of proms have gotten canceled right now. I'm so sorry. And I thought in honor of your prom being canceled, I wanted to share a story. It's a terrible one. It was my own prom. Not really, I never actually got asked to prom. So I'm just gonna use a formal dance my senior year as the example. So without further ado, life with Lori. Stories that'll make you cringe. This is a true story. I figured if we're talking about prom, we got a bibbity bobbity boo this. When I popped off, then you go I know my sisters are gonna point this out. Only me, when pulling out my glam look, does it include a turtleneck. Never far from our turtleneck, this one. I love me a turtleneck. Anyway, let's get to the story. Senior year, I invited Derek Richards. Hey, Derek. I had aspirations of designing my own dress. Let's just reference back again, turtleneck designer. Okay, I went to the fabric store, picked out the fabric, picked out the pattern. It was gonna be fabulous. Chocolate satiny thing with like this black, um, like faux flannel graph. <laughs> like, I had been inspired to dye my hair like dark chestnut and I thought, it's gonna be amazing. It wasn't. I also bought a black boa. It was also the first year that I was actually going to the salon to get my hair done. I went in and I brought my long black boa. Said, hey, can you cut some of these feathers out and like weave them in the back of my hair because it's gonna look, this is why I never <laughs> wear lipstick. Okay, mm, really more of a chapstick girl. So there we are, winter formal, all of my friends out on the dance floor. I gotta tell you, when I go out on the dance floor, I go hard. I kind of look like I just jumped into a pool. <laughs> Full body cardio workout. By the way, I never understood this girl. I mean, she never really got really sweaty. Anyway, and the song comes on over the speakers. Oh yeah. This is my jam, back it up, back it up. Here I come. By the way, crazy courageous for the girl that never even got invited to prom. I was feeling myself. I noticed everybody's faces, my girlfriends in the circle, cause that's how we danced. First, I didn't really know what was going on. I just kind of froze. What? And then I saw. Here's what had happened. My boa, when they had cut it up earlier in the day and they had like woven it, weaved it through my hair, when they had been, but the boa had started to fall apart. If I could display for a second, it kept coming over my shoulder and I had to keep flipping it back. But if you can just imagine it was coming and so here's what it looked like. It's back here, I don't feel quite right. Oh, that's, uh-huh. Okay, how long has that been there? Thanks for telling me. My armpits were packed full of black feathers. Look like freaking Amazon woman on the dance floor. Come on, ladies, you can admit that is gonna be the worst moment you can imagine. You wanna be this like light, dainty flower? Come on, it's me senior prom. Here I am. It was not a good moment. Awful. I went to the bathroom, I'm like scraping out. Sweaty feathers just stick everywhere. I was also on the prom committee, not prom, I keep saying prom, I never got invited. I was on the winter formal committee and the next day I had to go back to the school to clean up and that's when the teacher, Miss Larkin. Lori, Lori, what were you doing in the men's restroom last night? What? I am the good girl. I was not in the men's restroom, do you even know me? She's like, well, your feathers were all over the place. <laughs> Apparently those feathers travel. Those little things are like little dust mice. They go Pro tip, don't cut up a black boa. Better tip, stay home this year. Well, it's been canceled. So um, to all my seniors out there, this has been story time with Lori. Real life, real problems. <laughs> this turtleneck and me are just gonna go watch some true crime documentaries. Am I right?